Hello again, watch lovers in Canada and abroad. Welcome back to my journey here. So the precision set screwdrivers came in. Like I mentioned, I was waiting for those. But I ran into a little snag. What I've already done is taken off the self-winding mechanism for starters, but having a little difficulty with the stem and crown because before I could wait for those screwdrivers, I was trying to use one of those screwdrivers you get at the dollar store. And you can see the difference, hopefully, in the tip of those there. So when doing or trying to undo the screw, let's see if I can show you there using this. Also, I couldn't see very well, but I kind of mucked up the uh, the slot on the screw a little bit. So I'm going to have a little challenge maybe getting that out. But that's all in the learning process, isn't it? So we'll continue on and see what we can do here with disassembly, cleaning, and putting it back together and seeing if uh, my father's watch will have some life to it still. So far... Off camera, I've removed the screws on that bridge just to the right by the stem. And I've also taken off the uh, balance there and screwed it and set it aside. Uh, but as I mentioned, that uh, screw for the stem to get the stem out is still giving me a challenge here. So we'll have to keep working at it. Okay. Well, we're going to have to pause this repair attempt because um, little mistakes happen and this one I'm going to have to pause on because it is a big mistake. You see right here, the crown wheel screw. I forgot about this when trying to take the screw off. And obviously I turned it counterclockwise way, but watching many other repair attempts on other watches, this one is obviously an opposite threaded screw. So I should have turned it clockwise to remove it. But forgetting that, I have obviously uh, sheared off the head of the screw. So I'm going to have to come back to this watch and figure out how to get that part of the screw that has sheared off into the hole out and find a new screw, obviously, to continue fixing this watch here. Okay. So we're going to end it here, but I just wanted to show you, this is going to be my next watch repair attempt. Again, it's another one of my own watches. Got it when I was back in high school graduation, and it has sat around for probably 20 plus years. When I bought a new battery for it, it just wouldn't run. So I'm hoping just a matter of some of the... Uh, Jewels there are just a little gummed up, and that's what's maybe preventing it from running. So I'm going to give this one an attempt to fix, uh, rather than just have it just lie around in a drawer. Okay, so this is going to be the next video. It's my uh, Seiko Quartz. And it's a nice little watch here. I've missed it wearing it. So we're going to see if we can get this up and running so I can enjoy it again, and hopefully you enjoy watching this one actually work. Okay, thanks again for watching. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll talk to you again. Take care. Bye. Here's an interesting note to finally conclude the video. After putting all the parts back in the watch, the mainspring and the screws and give a little bit of a wind it's running now so not sure how long this is going to run for but 
at least after all those years, it's finally ticking. It's probably not keeping very good time, but we'll see. We'll see.